Aquarius, hi my beautiful cyber angels, thank you for coming back and sharing and liking the videos and f thank you for your loyalty and trust um, and welcome to the new people that have landed on this channel and please subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be uh, one of our cyber angels and even more so if you join me in the life Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I hope you are enjoying the romance uh, readings at the moment and uh, I hope you will enjoy this reading. So I also do weekly reading, a card for each day for the whole week so have a look at that one when that one comes out for this coming next week and um, I go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I put out notifications on Insta and Facebook and I've also got a new group that's a private group there I will be making or doing sh um, uh, sh um, workshops and the competitions and private zooms um, so if you would like to join in the next competition then make sure sure that you join Charlie's Angel crowd on Facebook and I'll leave the link below in the description box and there you can also find all other information if you would like to have an extensive reading for example or if you want to follow me on Instagram right let's get started this is the queer and card Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and that's the Shadowlands and this are these are the enchanted Lena Mun okay I will they will be uh, clarified by the tarot or uh, that card will clarify the tarot vice versa then I've got an angel reading card and I've got Archangel Metatron so let's get started this reading is for the 27th until the 2nd of August I believe yes and um, remember uh, if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign we've just gone into the energy of uh, or the zodiac sign of Leo so if you're a cross watcher then happy birthday the first card we have is the Quirin card or the overall energy and the overall energy is the King of Cups you might be taking a page out of the King of Cups uh, book um, by uh, being certain and strong and sure of your love, your passion, you can keep them. You can keep your emotions under control. Whoa, he's a very sensitive man, but he knows how to be, um, how to keep his emotions under control. Okay. He won't. He won't fly off the handle directly. He will. <laughs> he will uh, gently uh, contemplate before he gives you an answer they're beautiful fathers they're good providers they're gentle nurturing caring passionate and they can also be very very handsome and sensual and sexy okay now you if that is not you that is taking a page out of their book then you could be meeting a cancer the King of Cups is Cancer, but don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces. Now, then we have the Three of Wands on Monday. The Three of Mon uh, Wands, look at this, the boat is coming in. This could be passion, this could be money, this could be a job. Finally, you might have enough money to buy the house that you wish in, or to expend. Or more m money coming into the business or more customers so that is a beautiful um, card to have to start off the week with Wow um, your plans are coming to fruition finally in the, if you've got the three of ones then you're making plans for the future so you've gone up a step and you might seek professional advice from the King of Swords 
this is a man that works or represents institutions or works in, in an institution um, this could be you that you are working for an institution or a municipality and you might be seeking a pay rise so that will be your pay rise you've been planning for this you might have applied for it and it's coming to fruition but if it is not in if it's not that then it could be a man that works for it for municipalities the law a teacher the school or a hospital that is institutions or municipalities also municipalities are also the tax office of social security you might be seeking advice from one of these uh, men okay it could also be that you are signing contracts so read the small print that's the warning here also get clarity as they stand for clarity honesty justice wisdom and communication so perhaps your 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 boat has come in and you are signing contracts with a partner the king of swords that's Gemini but don't exclude Libra or Aquarian Aquarius you, if not if you're not doing any of these sorts of things then you might be um, meeting one of them I think it could also be a bookkeeper because you're going to make more money or you're going to receive more money or it could be somebody to plan and get clarity and be strategic on how to get more money and um, what you call it customers for your uh, business but it could also be the bookkeeper that's going to keep your books and n notes everything down so that you uh, will keep the books right up to uh, uh, properly, uh, lawfully, um, so that you can tell the municipalities how much you've earned and you might even be getting a tax return. Perhaps that's the money coming in. Well done. You definitely have recognition and definitely cancer is prominent here as you've got the chariot and the chariot means or represents cancer as well it means that you've got public recognition and you're getting well known perhaps this is somebody making advertisements f uh, with your company's name and telling the people uh, what your company does so selling so money will come in you're going onwards and upwards and that's how you get recognition by being who you are being caring gentle passionate and nurturing you take good care and precise care of your customers you might be going on holiday or moving home this could also be if it's with regarding this with this reading looks like it's regarding to your work life you might even be expanding your business or moving your business to bigger premises make sure you make sure that you are clear whether that is a good idea or not as the uh, um, air signs are brains thinking wisdom so if that um, if that is your idea make sure you are making the right decision at this moment with the COVID when a lot of business are going under but yet again if you've got enough money um, then you might be able to sustain yourself if the COVID um, continues but on the other hand everything has got a flip side perhaps it is the right moment to uh, invest into a new property because there might be properties that are bankrupt and they're selling their building or business and perhaps you can flip it over and make a bigger return perhaps that was your idea and you saw uh, you've done that and you've seeked legal advice and now you're getting recognition you've got number seven as well so it could be still happening this week because we are on the seventh month and seven is good luck perhaps you've been busy with it because here you are you um, have your suitcase and you see this king walking away from 
uh, perhaps a judicial situation or actually walking um, he's facing the past and it's the five of cups I haven't come to that yet but he's walking uh, with legalities in the right way so that he can avoid the problems that he's learned from from the past as you have the five of cups as I said at the weekend so you have learned you've taken the two of cups that are still standing and you've multiplied them again perhaps to seven because you've got the recognition and you're moving onwards like so just above but you're, you're walking away from perhaps uh, problems that turned out legalities or whatever because you've turned it round perhaps you owed money to the tax office the municipality right and you've cleared that all away because some you've learned something from the past and you've stepped away you're not crying over spilled milk okay <coughs> you've done the business because you've got the business bag here you've done the legalities everything is fine and clear the abundance is coming uh, uh, coming in because it's above you lying above you so it's coming in so if I've, I've put this card here you're walking to abundance because you've learned from the past you've got your emotions under control because you're the king Wow and you've got public recognition so and you've got victory so you have learned from the past and I don't think you are there at the moment moping about the past and crying over spilled milk no you're you've taken your bag you've done your research and you're going for what you want and you have by the end of the week because you've got the chariot you're the victor Wow just look at this it might show up its head something might show up at the weekend show its head that's what I'm hearing so um, from the past but you are in such a positive position you know not to go back to the past but take the past with you learn from it but don't and forgive it whatever happened and learn from it let it go because you're doing the walk and you're doing the talk wow beautiful you've got number 36 and that's the cross and if you look at it very carefully it's like a cliff's edge but if you look things into 3 or 4d then you can see more that's why I hesitated last time around it looks like a shadow of a w the wings of an angel just there look at it these cards are magical and they are enchanted because enchanted does mean magical I see so much more in some decks than others even after I've used them several hundred times you've got the six of clubs and that's the six of wands like a chariot champion recognition this is usually the six of wands when somebody is on a horse and riding in and being held in by the community and being getting public recognition and victory the same as the chariot <coughs> but number 36 adds up to a nine so that means an ending new beginning and that's the ending of the past as it's lying above the five of cups okay the cross also means have faith have faith that your boat is going to come in your plans are going to come to fulfillment the end is here so there will be a new beginning a new beginning of abundance if it's with regards to uh, to a relationship you might have ended a relationship or a friendship with the king of cups or you might start a relationship with the King of Cups you have faith trust you have and trust yourself make that choice don't go back to the past if this is a new person make the choice are you going for the new person or are you going back to the past 
learn from your past like I said and I think you have because you've got clarity and you can see clearly what the past was like you don't want to go back to the past if that was finished then you will have a new beginning with a new caring nurturing person beautiful now we have the six of uh, Lenaman and that is the clouds you've got clouds we've also got a person in this card and that's the king of wands so you've got three kings here okay three kings the kings are king of wands the king of water the king of air and the king of fire and take a page out of his book go for what you want that's the positive side. Now the negative side is you might have had arguments with the King of Wands, a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo, but that's short-lived. It's also lying in the past. So perhaps you will consider um, going back to the um, um, King of Fire because it was a short, a small argument it's not it wasn't a hefty and you're back in balance you've got two sixes you've got a six here and you've got a six here so the angels are with you like I said it just looks like the angel wings just are protecting you in this card here so learn what's happened walk away walk away if somebody is um, provoking you to um, have arguments it will it was short-lived or it will be short-lived because you are in your balance you have finished something and you're letting it go you've learned from the past okay now if you are starting a new beginning uh, with uh, uh, a person it could be like a fire sign water sign or an air sign you have victory over this argument you can win or you have won the argument by walking away or either getting enough evidence and getting help from a professional right it could be with any of these three signs wow you've done your walk and your talk great stuff okay now you've got the hearts now you've got I think that is the page. I'll just check. Can't see. I've got to get a magnifying glass for this. I need a pair of new glasses. Now you can see. Um, I'll just take it. How you can see this. I don't know whether you can see this. Because it goes blurred. But his crown or hat. He's just wearing a hat. And he's definitely wearing a crown. This looks flatter. And this looks higher so that's why I know it is the page of hearts so the page of hearts is Pisces there could also be a Pisces a young Pisces that brings you news besides the news that you might be meeting up with a fire sign a uh, water sign cancer now we've got the Pisces but the Pisces might be younger than you and they are extra sensitive big and that's Pisces as well because they're young they're not the king so they might be more emotional that's why you might have had an argument with uh, the page of water or a with a child this could even represent your child if you have a child number 24 is also a six so you've got three sixes in this readings <laughs> so be careful six 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 is also a, a negative number but have a look on uh, Google what that number means so the might the, the, the energy might have been very negative and that's what caused the argument okay so have faith it will uh, you are protected by the angels and they are also protected if they are your child because you are taking charge that's what I've, I've, I've you've got what you want 
You've got what you want. You're taking a page out of the King of Wands book. You're going for what you want. You're direct. Perhaps a little bit too direct. So be careful if it is a child of yours that is a Cancer or a Pisces. This is what I also read in an extended reading. Okay, so that's why this reading will be a little bit longer, I think, because I'm adding things in. I can make this last for an hour or an hour and a half. It all depends what messages are coming out and what the querence uh, question is. This could be you, so you could have you could you could be uh, Aquarius, uh, Moon sign, Cancer, or um, Pisces. You could be rising Cancer or Pisces. So, yes, you are very emotional, but you're the king because you're in the middle of my reading. So, you are in charge. You are standing in your strength. Definitely, with all the positive cards, with the recognition cards here and here, you have victory. So, you will win the argument. If you can't, you'll do it legally. So, the heart, obviously, in Lenormand means love, passion. So, and you do have a lot of loves cards in your reading. Cancer, cancer, water, water. The heart is also water. The page, wow. So, with this, this card, the cross, which is the path. Find the right path, okay? make and when it I see this as um, um, uh, a rope bridge that you have in the jungle bringing two sides together perhaps uh, it might not be you that has left the past but you were the mediator perhaps that is you because here we have the air sign Aquarius perhaps you are uh, Aquarian rising Gemini or rising Cancer but you took charge. You are the mediator. But perhaps you are a mediator between an air sign and a water sign. You're the nurturing, caring, wise person like the King of Cups. Whatever you do, um, I'm, I'm getting... With these two cards, I'm getting you are in charge you control your destination okay definitely you know the letter of the law and luck is definitely on your side what with the seven and the three of wands and the clover so you will have victory it's 99.9% .9 that you will win the argument because you will be steady you know how to nurture your business you know how to sell you can t do the walk and the talk that is what it means being a, 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 an, an air sign you know how to sell ice cubes to Eskimos now again you've got a six you've got four sixes okay you've got the six of pentacles so the six of pentacles is when somebody is less fortunate will give you a loan perhaps you with all the power cards here I think you are giving the loan you're more fortunate you're giving to the less fortunate that's why I say you might be the mediator because this is you and it could be that you are the mediator between an, an air sign and a water sign but you can also be a mediator um, you can also be a mediator because you know the letter of the law and because you're, you've got a nurturing side wow the six of pentacles yeah that means um, giving a gift of money this could be money but it could be a listening ear it could be advice giving advice to somebody or getting advice although you are the air sign you are a nurturing air sign Aquarius so don't let yourself be brought down by people 
especially not um, the kings of water or fire or air listen to your own feelings learn from the past the white flowers or the pink flowers in the clover clover means good luck and you've got number two is balance um, will bring you love passion okay and the heart is here your heart is in it whatever you do or whatever you are going to do and you're going to have luck but also these two cards are reminiscing about the past okay don't you might be missing somebody that is what the clover says you might be missing somebody it doesn't have to be in a relationship it can be a grandfather a grandmother because the king of swords is here it could be an advisor or it could be an air sign that you're missing and also a water sign because uh, water is problem, uh, problem, prominent here okay okay so what is going to happen is believe in yourself stand your ground let the past be the past you can reminisce about the past but let go of the past and let the new come in your ideas are coming to fruition boom there you go you have two luck cards there's always help there okay if you're the less fortunate then seek help from the grown-ups or the professionals and mature people it doesn't have to be a man it doesn't have to be a Gemini just this card could just represent professional a caring nurturing person somebody that you love and respect a mature person now I said that the angels were here with you look at this you are being held by the angels wings you've got the protection of the angel and in this case it is the guided angel guardian angel I beg your pardon beautiful what do I see more in this card she is upset and it looks like she is looking back or reminiscing about the past and she's sad don't be sad move on let go so that the new can come in the angels have your back that's what I'm seeing you are protected by the divine in many a ways and we've got the beacon shining on 44 again an angel number okay be the beacon indeed you should be the lighthouse and attract other people to do business with to work with to love with share your passions with it could be any of these three men <laughs> it's lovely so be the beacon take care of yourself nurture yourself that is what water does water means love passion nurturing so if you are not meeting up with a, somebody that's water then take care of yourself and be the beacon shine and be happy don't be sad every phase of our life we learn something from but we also have to learn that when we step away that we have to let go and forgive and forgive ourselves and have faith and trust in ourselves to come back into our own strength and by the looks of this reading you have returned in a big way you are in your strength now spread your wings don't huddle up okay spread your wings fly be the beacon wow magic 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 okay Aquarius I hope you have enjoyed this reading please share and like and I hope to see you in the live sessions Monday Wednesday or Friday take care and be blessed thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life, Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.